Hello and welcome. We are in season two, headed over to Hybrid Horizon and tier seven. I was told this race is really difficult and that doesn't surprise me. Daytona motorcycle course is really difficult. So I'm gonna do this in all three cars. We're gonna start off with my lowest PR car, which is the Ferrari, because I'm not fully upgraded. Now, take a look at the right there. That is critical. If you're not racing with all assists off, already you're at a massive disadvantage. And the reason why we're going to do this in three cars is because there's a different approach for every car. Now I'm going to do about the same thing every time. I start low, I go up here to get around the traffic a bit and work my way through. So you got to focus on, ooh, nuts. Well, not doing that. Ah, what I was going to say is you need to know the strengths of each car and focus on them. This car has got horrible brakes. It feels that way. It feels like it's got horrible brakes. It's got amazing acceleration. And it doesn't have very good cornering. So, and it doesn't have the greatest top speed. So we've really got to make use of that acceleration. And that's about all we can really do. So I'm, gonna, I'm having to get on the brakes early. I'm not able to really power out the way I want to. So I understand why people are saying this is so difficult. Now here's where we're coming to a critical section called the bus stop. That's what this chicane is called. It's called the bus stop. If you've got assists on, it, they're destroying you in the bus stop. Oh, look, at oh my gosh. Well, you can certainly see this is not a perfect run. Now, the reason why we're doing this multiple times is once you place, once you trophy, you're gonna start facing even harder competition. So right now I'm facing Darknez, which is a standard bot. He's one of the harder ones, one of the hardest. So this isn't easy. But after this, I'm gonna be facing some of the really good people in this game. Some of my friends are top group A every single week racers. So now, of course, time shifted multiplayer, what you're seeing on screen, it's not their actual run, but it is faster than a standard bot. That's for sure. So darkness here. So I'm see what I mean? I've got acceleration. So that's a McLaren. It has wonderful cornering. Uh, wonderful handling. Oh boy. And I got smoked. Now, once you get in the lead, the game usually gives you a little bit of a break. So it's not too bad. I'm trying to, I'm driving right where he wants to drive and I'm controlling the race. So I'm slowing down a little bit more and then really powering out of those corners and taking advantage of my acceleration. So I'm forcing the McLaren to over brake. And then I, I, I just plow through these corners. When I'm pulling away, you'll notice the distance. Like, watch this. Watch me gap darkness. There. I mean, you can't do much about it. Although top speed will be a problem eventually. I'm smashed up, so I lost even more handling and speed and acceleration. But there we go. That's the end of this in the SF90, which wasn't fully upgraded. My next two cars are fully upgraded. Quick look at my final time, 243, 296, not bad. Let's get to the next race. Let's take the McLaren. That's my second best car. Now, I wanna say something. I did try this again in my SF90 against my harder friends here. No way, no way at all. I couldn't even get in second place. Best I could do was about third place. So yeah, if you, it's gonna be really hard against top players if you're not in a better car. And even this, you can see, this is not a perfect run. Uh, I'm trying not to get damaged. Yee. So this McLaren handles very differently. One thing with these all-wheel drive cars like this, the Ferrari didn't handle this way. Just watch what I do with the McLaren coming up here. I'm gonna brake late, throw it sideways, and floor it. And so that's the way I can take advantage of some of this grip, some of this traction with this car has. And I can brake late, so I know I can outbrake that SF90. So sometimes you gotta know what, what, what your strengths are for each car. Same with this, I know I can power out pretty good in this car because of the wonderful grip this thing has. So, and, and some of these McLarens have more, um, you get more downforce with speed. So I just look at this, like the bus stop there, that was awesome. I did very well through that bus stop. Now, the first place bot, I know that's a very good driver. So this isn't easy and probably in a McLaren like me. So I've got to hopefully outbreak this driver. Now again, the game is gonna take this driver's run and dumb it down. Take away some of the abilities. I did better on the brakes. Bots are always bad at brakes. I didn't even take that very good. Now let's watch this big hairpin here. Can I outbreak? 
oh yeah, and then look at this, beautiful drive out of that corner. Per perfect acceleration point. Okay, I'm gonna set up an overtake after this corner. Watch this, get around really quick and then late break. And there you, and contact, like yeah, whatever it takes, right? I'm not going off track. I could be taking off track cuts. I'm not even doing that. So I'm showing you how to do this pretty much legit. Like, I mean, that was kind of like, some uh, officials would be mad at how I did that, but I'm not taking off track cuts, which you could do. There we go. So again, I did it in the McLaren. I'm gonna really blast through the bus stop here. I love those bus stops. What makes a bus stop different than a, ch than a chicane? A bus stop is gonna go left, right, right, left, or right, left, left, right. So a bus stop will have a section that's parallel to the track you're on, uh, that you would like, a bus would go and stop at to let people off without being in the middle of traffic. Okay, so that wraps up this one. You know what's coming next. We gotta do the Lamborghini and see on those strings. Wow, 234, that was faster, quite a lot faster. All right, time to test out the Lamborghini. And I haven't even mentioned, I'm going down here at the start every single time because that's a shorter path around the track. And the bots tend to over brake heading into corner one of the first lap. So I wanna take advantage of that. But then I wanna get from down low to up high through this and I can't always do it. Like here, oh, I'm having trouble. So, oh, nuts, already you get smashing up my car. Oh well, uh, we're just gonna keep on go woo, weaving around. So. Um, this car has got even better grip than the McLaren. I don't think it has as much active downforce. I don't think it increases as much with speed, but that's okay. So based on that, I can do a similar thing here. See that? I'm drifting the corner a little bit and getting some overtakes that way. Why am I doing that? Because I don't want to smash my front end. When you smash your front end, that's when you get damage that'll hurt you. So you really want to avoid contact if you can. Contact will make you slower and looser and your brakes will be worse. It just hurts all of your stats. Some cars more than others. I really have to take advantage of this bus stop. What is that? SF90, okay, check it out. I'll power by, ooh, a little scrape. Now, can I overtake the Lamborghini on the speedway section? Okay, now this will be very interesting. Watch this, look how much better the low line is. Now, here's what's very interesting, watch. The Lamborghini behind me is better than me. How is that possible? We're both fully upgraded. I'm damaged. That's why that Lamborghini is gaining and trying to overtake me. Now, I blew my braking point. I was focusing too much on what was going on. Whoa, that was close. Really surprised I didn't get a, a pit maneuver done to me. Okay, so I'm gonna control the race a bit here. I'm gonna drive right in the optimal line, not over brake too much or else the bots will start going around you and that's when you get a pit maneuver done to you but you can control it a bit. So now look at this, looks like I don't have any trouble at all. And yeah, that's about that's about it. So all assists have to be off to do what I'm doing. If I have assists on, forget it. I, I'm, I'm a victim of the bots then. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say. If you don't know how to do no assist driving, uh, I got a video that can help you with that and teach you how to do the transition. So I'm gonna throw a link up for, to that at the end here, just in a, just in a tiny bit. Also, if you're a regular viewer, you know my voice isn't doing very well. I'm sick. I've been sick for about a week. Thankfully, it wasn't so bad when I did my update video, update 11.2. Uh, right now, it's not doing very great. But I mean, I'm feeling a lot better, just my voice is not doing great. So anyway, thanks for putting up with me. And there we go. So there we go, all three versions of the race. Hope you like that. Please like, please subscribe, check out some other videos, and join me again. Bye-bye now.